There is a statutory responsibility to make sure that potential sources of Legionella are controlled. Sampling of water systems is part of regular monitoring to confirm the effectiveness of control measures and is essential when investigating outbreaks of Legionnaire's disease. If samples are being collected for monitoring purposes or investigating an outbreak, you must establish how to collect water samples safely, so include a dynamic risk assessment that includes a personal safety assessment. Review the local risk assessment to establish how water is used on the site, when the systems were last tested, including the results, and the water treatment regime. Check what biocides are added, and when, and establish how routine samples are collected and transported. The sampling process must be completed correctly, otherwise results will be invalid. The sample needs to be representative, at least one litre in volume, and be stored in the correct conditions so it undergoes minimum change between collection and examination in the laboratory. Samples must always be taken where Legionella bacteria are likely to be found in the highest concentrations. When visiting a site, you will normally need to carry the following basic equipment. Sampling bottles. Means for disinfection of sample points. Request forms, labels and pens. A thermometer. Disposable gloves. Torch. Insulated containers for transporting of sample bottles. Clean, food-grade plastic bags for sampling of showers. Scissors. Elastic bands. You may need additional specialist equipment, such as sterile swabs with storage medium or sterile dip samplers. The type of site you are visiting and their work activities may mean that you will also need safety shoes and goggles. You will need to consider this in your own risk assessment before you attend a site. Both pre-flush and post-flush samples can be collected from taps. Always use individual taps where possible because with mixer taps there is a potential for cross-contamination between the hot and cold water systems. Pre-flush samples are collected immediately after the outlet is opened. The tap should not have been used for at least two hours or have previously been disinfected and water run to waste. Remove the sample container cap. Do not contaminate by touching the rim. Place under the tap and turn it on to provide a gentle flow. Fill, leaving a small air gap and recap. Leave the water running for one minute for a hot water tap or two minutes for cold and then record the water temperature. Invert the bottle several times to mix the biocide neutralising agent with the water. Post-flush samples are collected after the tap or tap fitting has been disinfected and water run to waste. Flush the outlet for one minute for a hot tap or two minutes for cold and then record the temperature. Remove anti-splash or spray nozzle devices. Clean and disinfect all accessible parts of the tap and then turn on the tap and let the water run to waste, flushing away any residual disinfectant. Then, without adjusting the flow, fill the container. Invert it several times to mix the biocide neutralising agent with the water. In outbreak investigations, only pre-flush samples are used initially, but post-flush samples may be used in follow-up investigations. It's important to avoid generating aerosols when collecting samples from a shower. If there is a flexible hose, remove the shower head and take the sample from the hose. Similarly, with a fixed shower head, it may be possible to remove the head, but if not, then use a clean, food-grade plastic bag with the end cut off to form a tube. The bag is fed over the shower head and held on with a rubber band, and the other end is fitted to the neck of the sample bottle. Post-flush samples should not be collected from showers as it's not possible to ensure that the shower head, hose and mixer components have been adequately disinfected. Dip samplers can be used to collect samples from tanks in hot and cold water systems, pools and sometimes from the ponds of cooling towers. You must take precautions to prevent cross-contamination between sample sites. Clean your hands with the appropriate disinfectant or use a fresh pair of disposable gloves for each sample. Clean the outside of the sample bottle with an alcohol wipe and allow it to dry before use. To take a dip sample, remove the cap, taking care not to touch the rim of the bottle. Being careful not to tip out the biocide neutralising agent in the sample bottle, hold the bottle almost horizontal and immerse it below the water surface. Tilt it 45 degrees to fill it. 
seal the bottle tightly. A small air gap should remain under the cap and invert the bottle to mix the water with any biocide neutralising agent. Alternatively, a sterile dip sampler can be used and the water transferred into the sample bottle. While taking your sample, make a note of the appearance of the water and condition of the tank. Collect biofilm off the surfaces with a sterile absorbent swab. If the surface is not wet, moisten the swab with the transport medium supplied with the swab. Rotate the swab so the whole surface is used. Label with a unique reference number, date, time and place, sample point and initials of sampler. Place in a sturdy transport box at room temperature between 6 and 20 degrees Celsius. The sample should reach the laboratory as soon as possible on the day of collection so processing can be completed within 24 hours of the sample being collected. Samples taken for monitoring purposes should always be sent to a laboratory that's accredited for Legionella tests by the United Kingdom Accreditation Service. The method used should be based on the ISO 11731 and should have a detection limit of 100 or fewer colony forming units per litre. Samples taken during outbreak investigations should always be sent to Specialist Public Health England Food, Water and Environmental Microbiology Laboratories. These are accredited for Legionella testing and also hold funding to carry out these tests on behalf of the outbreak control team. The Legionella reference unit at Public Health England can carry out molecular typing tests during an outbreak investigation to identify specific Legionella strains. It is vital during an outbreak that we can identify the patient isolates and also environmental sources so that appropriate action can be taken.